Bill Ford Jr. is the chairman of the company that bears his family name. And there's not a night that goes by that he doesn't worry about where Ford Motor Company is headed. He talks about how polarizing EVs have become, how he wasn't sold on the Mach-E at first, and about getting pulled over for speeding with Christy McDonald. Cars is one thing people have always have opinions on. Everywhere I go, somebody wants to tell me, you know, you should have restyled the Mustang differently, or, you know, I love that. It means people love cars. They've always had a love affair with cars. Certainly electrification is happening, uh, and in, is by historical standards very quickly. I, I do think though, you know, I never thought I would see the day where our products have gotten politicized. But there is this notion now that if you are red, you're for internal combustion. If you're blue, you're for EVs. In our wildest dreams, we never thought we would see our products somehow be politicized. But like everything else in this country now, um, things, you know, our, even our products are getting politicized. And, you know, and so that will change the rate of adoption also. Let's talk about moving into EVs and there are people that are driving them now who love them very much. Uh -huh. But to move to that point where we are going to be fully electric um, and, and taking a look at the price, infrastructure, and people are not quite sure. Yeah, and they're not. And the great thing about us is we've sort of positioned our company that we can go whichever way it breaks. I believe that optionality for us is the way to go because one size doesn't fit all. Some people, you know, really do want EVs. Other people are saying, over my dead body, I'll never drive one of those things. That's fine. I mean, nobody's forcing anybody into anything. Um, and yet we are placing our bets that the EV future will come. You also did grab brands though that had fierce loyalty and you were able to, and then when you put a Mustang out there, you weren't too pleased about that at first, right? No, I was the last one to, to say yes to that inside Ford because to, to me, a Mustang had to be uh, a V8 with a stick um, and, the, and the idea- <laughs> And the top down. Yeah, and the top down. And the idea of, of actually having an EV that made no noise at all, are you kidding? Um, <laughs> uh, but until I drove it, and then I drove it, I thought, oh my God. This is actually amazing. Um, they, they kept coming back to you though, They right? did, they did, but they didn't have a drivable prototype, so I was unmoved. But, um, <laughs> but when they finally got one, I thought, wow, this thing's a blast. Uh, you know, it snaps your head back at, you know. I, I mean, I should, within the speed I limit I though, shouldn't I'm be sure talking Bill about this, speeds, but the, right? you know, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it drives my family crazy because um, I, I always say, well, I, I don't, I've never gotten a speeding ticket. And then the answer to the question is, well, how many times have you been pulled over? Well, the good news is most of the police are car nuts. So, um, <laughs> so wait a minute. So, so this is, uh, you talking your way out of a ticket? I don't have to say anything. What's they the like the cars I'm in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> please tell me they come up and they go, license registered. Mr. Ford, please go on your way. <laughs> no, they, they ask me a million questions about the vehicle. And, and, and like everybody else, why didn't you do this? Why did you do this? Uh, so it's fun. Things that keep you up at night. Oh boy. Uh, well, other than four children, uh, which I think would keep any parent up at night. Um, no, it, it's just, you know, particularly during the, the, the dark days of the financial crisis when, you know, Jim and Chrysler went bankrupt and we were just hanging on. I, I would stare at the ceiling every night saying, you know, is this all going to go down on my watch? Am I going to be the one after 100 years that ruined the family company? Um, and, you know, and I, I worry about that every night. I, I do. I mean, I, 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 I like where we are. We're very profitable. Things are going well. But there's no shortage of things to worry about. And I suppose there never will be. Yeah, no shortage of things to worry about. That interview was done in, a, in front of about 800 people up on Mackinac Island back in June. So check out our whole interview. Bill talks about finding talent here in Michigan, the restoration of Michigan Central, and the changing auto landscape. It's streaming right now on Local 4 Plus. Click on Detroit.com. Just go to the new releases tab when you download the Local 4 Plus app 
on your TV. It's his worth. I was going to say his perspective on Maki really was surprising. He's I mean, come surprising, around. He has come around. Yeah. He has definitely come yeah. around. But I think it was fun and revealing that he's never gotten a speeding ticket. I know. Um, he also talks about playing hockey. And I know we talk about Bill Ford, and mm -hmm. we talk a lot about automotive and, and a lot about the business. A little bit of a personal side here that you're able to see yeah. as well. And uh, he plays on a Ford hockey team. And sometimes he gets checked, and you should be surprised <laughs> at what people say to him when oh, they do that. Oh, so, just, <laughs> in the interview as well. So. Little chippy. It's exactly. great. Yeah, we recommend it. It's yeah. great, Christy. Yeah. Yeah. He's so he's so likable. Just, yeah. just a likable yeah. person. Yep. It was really yeah. yeah. likable. But the, so the, the secret though is drive an interesting vehicle. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and get yourself out of it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Based on the amount of tickets, I must have a really boring <laughs> car. <laughs> Not enough to talk about. Yeah. Nope. Nobody cares. Uh,